Finally, we are going to create the fourth component of our hitch assembly. So our last piece is the cotter pin. Uh, you see it on the screen in front of you. In this particular design, we will sketch out uh, using the line tool, the three-point arc, and the spline tool to create the curve, the wave there at the on the upper piece of the cotter pin that you see in front of us right there. Um, then we'll sweep our profile, circular profile, along that path, and we'll have the pin ready to insert into the assembly file. So let's get started. Uh, new canvas. First thing we're going to do is create a new component. I've been spelling cotter with a K for through some of it on rock space. So forgive me for that spelling error. It cotter begins with a C. So cotter pen. The name of the new component that I'm creating. I'm going to create a sketch. And I believe we start on the left right plane. Yes, we do. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line 60 millimeters here. Then I'm going to come back and add some construction lines to construct my art arc. Okay, so there's my line tool starting from the origin. Click along the x-axis, 60 millimeters, zero degrees, enter. Okay, we've got that. I'm going to turn construction on now. Back to the line tool from the origin. I'm going to go up 30 millimeters, straight up the y-axis. Good. Drag this out of the way a bit. I'm going to find the midpoint of that construction line. Right there we go. Click, and I'm going to come out 25 millimeters horizontally. All right. Looks good. And now I have points I need to construct my arc. I'll drag this dimension line down, about right in that area there. All right, let's go create arc, three-point arc. My two endpoints, and I'm going to drag it out to my 25 millimeter line there. So cl first click, second click, drag it out. There we are. Got my arc in place. Now, time for me to add the wave, the spline. <clears throat> Let's go look at the previous example, what I did. Let's edit sketch here. So, tried to keep it real smooth. Now, notice there's my dimension line. I'm going to zoom in on the uh, sketch we're working on. And I'm going to set my dimension line, oh, just about, to just about three. Here's my first grid line. Go up another three blocks or so, and should put it on that line right in there. Um, we've got to keep some space between the lower line and the upper uh, for our uh, assembly and our design. So that's kind of where I'm going to set it. So let's zoom in. And I'll move that dimension line up just a touch. Oops. Well. What am I doing wrong? There we go. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, so let's go create spline, fit point spline. Start at the upper top of the arc. And I want to come out just a bit and down. The more points you put in place, the smoother your <clears throat> design will be. Down to that point. 
maybe a little bit, that would be all right. Out in here. That'll be good. Needs to be elongated just a little bit. It comes out to the end. Enter. And I think I can work with this. Let's move this this way a little bit. I'm going to move this one this way just a touch. Move this one out as well. Move this up. Move that down and over. I'll move this one over, just touch and down. That's a little sharp there. Let's see if I can soften that. You know what? Overall, it's not too bad. Probably could have used a couple more points in there, but I think that'll work. Okay. Don't spend all day. Don't uh, violate the 90-10 rule. Don't spend 90% of your time looking for that last 10% of perfection. All right. I'm going to finish sketch. So I have my outline there. Go to the home position, create sketch. This time we're going to use the front back plane. No, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Create sketch. There we go. I'm not sure why it spun the other way the last time. I am going to create my profile circle from the origin. Click. Center diameter circle, 4.5 millimeters. All right, enter. Finish sketch. All right, so I have a path and a profile that I can sweep now. So let's go create, sweep. My profile, let's select it right here. The path is now what I'm going to select. There's that line, and then on the other side, okay, that looks pretty good. New body's good. Click OK. And guess what? The cotter pen is done. We save it. You now have your fourth component of our assembly that we're going to create. So... The next video will be the assembly. I'll see you later.